Don't, uh, don't look behind you. Don't look behind you. Where? Don't. I said don't look. It's a girl I used to know. She's the most beautiful woman in the world. What? Where? Don't look, I said. Oh, no. She is beautiful. She's got a great body. Oh, come on, guys. This is so unfair. I mean, I've seen pretty girls before. I can, I can handle myself. I'm not going to make a fool out of myself. <laughs> oh, sweet mother of God. <laughs> Who is she? It's Becky Mason. I used to know her when I played hockey. She went out with the toughest guy on the oil. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, playing hockey, man. I had the hugest fantasies about her, you know? And they weren't always sex, either. They were romance, you know? Man, I remember this one when I used to... Yeah, that one was actually just sex. You know? Look at you. The woman you've always wanted is standing right there, and you're just sitting here talking about it. You know, see, that's the problem with all of us. You know, that's why we never meet anybody. We never take any chances. You know, you're right. I mean, what's the worst a woman can say? No, I mean, I'd rather live with a no than live my life scared. There you go. I'm gonna take some risks, damn it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to her. Oh, no, 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 not her. That's way too risky. What are you, what are you, Robbie Knievel? <laughs> Hi, I'm Danny, and I find you very attractive, and I think that, you know, after we talk for a while, you'll find that I'm a good person to spend time with. <laughs> I have to go home now. Danny's example made me realize something. Hey, at least I'm not bald. I, I, I'm gonna approach a guy tonight. I mean it. Help, help me pick out somebody. Uh, hey, how about that big fat guy at the bar? Why? Well, big fat guy. He won't run out on you. You know, he can't run. Big fat guy. <laughs> See, that's a nice looking guy. I want to talk to him. Oh my God, what would I say? <laughs> I'll help you out. Hey, come on over here, no, buddy. Norm, Norm, don't. Hey, listen, pal, uh, me and my friend are trying to find somebody to, uh, you know, that she can talk with, you know? And uh, I, I picked you. She picked a big fat guy. Can you believe it? <laughs> ah, you know, I've lost three women to him already this week. <laughs> can I join you? Yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> Norm, now might be a good time for you to go talk to Becky. Why is that? Oh, yes, right, right, right. Listen, uh, just remember one thing there, Lori. Uh, if he really likes you, he'll wait till the second day. <laughs> hey, Becky. Oh, my God, Norm Henderson. Hey, what are you doing here? You work here or something? I just started. Hey, you know, I heard you got thrown out of hockey for life. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Just, just till I'm 75. <laughs> Boy, did I have a crush on you. What? What? what, what? I know you did. No, no, I just love watching you down on the ice just to get in all those fights. Oh, my God, yeah, it must have been a hundred fights. So what are you doing now? Oh, I'm a social worker. Really? Yeah, yeah, I help people. You know, it's not as bad as it sounds. I can't believe they tamed you. It's too bad. I kind of had a thing for the old Norm Henderson. Oh, no, they didn't tame me. Hey, listen, can you tame a lion, right? <laughs> Actually, I guess you can tame a lion, right? <laughs> Look at you. You're so cute now. Oh, yeah? Hey, you want to go out sometime? Nah, I don't like cute. <laughs> well, fine. Broads like you are a dime a dozen. I'll see you in hell, baby. <laughs> That's still cute? Mm-hmm. Uh, did I say baby? I meant dirty whore. <laughs> Too bad that you're not as smart as you thought you were. Molly, listen, let me ask you something, you know? When I was younger, I used to get in a lot of fights, and I don't do that anymore, but, but I'm still a tough guy, right? I mean, uh, I still look like a guy who can handle myself. You look like the kind of guy who would have to handle himself. <laughs> I am exhausted. I haven't slept in two days. Oh, uh, I got you. Yeah, right, you and your Scottish boyfriend going all night long, huh? Say no more. No, 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 that's not it. It's just that I... I think it's because Paul really is this great guy, you know, and then I start putting all this pressure on myself and I'm worried about screwing it up and then I can't get any sleep. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Danny, 
say, did you buy a cat? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you seem so happy and full of confidence, and uh, you got a cat on your head, so... <laughs> I think it looks great. It's a whole new you. Isn't it? But I'm still just trying it out. I get to wear it for 30 days, and if I like it, then I start making payments towards the two grand. Two grand? Come on, man. Your whole head and worth two grand. Excuse me. Oh, yes. Hi. hi. Uh, did you just get into a cab at 21st and Park? Oh, yeah. I was uh, picking up my two... my uh, two-liter bottle of hair conditioner. <laughs> Well, when you were getting into the cab, I saw you drop this, so I jumped in the cab and followed you. <laughs> oh, wow, thanks. Uh, but it, it's not mine. <laughs> oh, oh, God, this is so embarrassing. A guy like you probably thinks I did this just to meet you. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, a guy like me, yeah. Hey, uh, listen, uh, you know, don't, don't be embarrassed. I mean, you know, uh... I mean, since you came all the way down here, why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? Sure, that'd be great. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> maybe later we can go swimming or someplace windy. <laughs> all right, what are you doing here? It's 3.30 in the morning. Yeah, I know, I know what time it is. I just couldn't sleep. I'm wired. So you want to talk about something? Hey, how's your life going? Uh, it's going all right. I mean, you remember Becky, that girl at the uh -huh. bar? Uh-huh, Becky, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know Becky. Uh, well, she, uh, she still thinks I'm a big wimp, you know, since I don't play hockey. Wimp, you're a wimp. Yeah, I got it. You want to go bowling? <laughs> bowling? It's the middle of the night. So what? There's a lot of cool things to do in the middle of the night. There's no lines, either. Last night I went down to the A&P. I watched them unload this big lettuce truck. <laughs> and no lines, you Yeah, said. no, no. And I talked to the, uh, the driver, his name is Felipe. He likes to smoke crystal meth and see how fast his big rig can go. <laughs> Pedro and I, we're gonna organize some kind of an intervention. Did you know that Iceberg is the heaviest lettuce? No, I always thought that was just an urban legend. Hey, hey did you know that uh, uh, lettuce is not really a vegetable, it's a fruit? Oh, no, no, that's tomatoes. Oh, my God! I'm never gonna sleep again. Uh, listen, it's all right, Lori. Look, just, just, just relax, all right? Just relax. You get some sleep, you know? <gasps> hey, hey, you know, my grandfather, when I couldn't sleep, used to tell me the story, you know? Let, let, me, let me see if I can remember it. Uh, once upon a time, there was a king. No, a duck. A duck. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and maybe he was king of the ducks. Yeah, now that I think about it. Once upon a time, there was the king of the ducks. And, uh, or maybe he was just a mid-level duck official. I can't remember. But the important thing is that he tried. So, uh, uh, one time, the king of the ducks, uh, became a swan. And, uh, no, God, that's not possible. A duck becoming a swan? I think that's even something that could, uh, what? Get the remote, wiener duck. <laughs> wiener duck, slow down, for God's sake. You got no attention span. That's <laughs> so you've only had two hours of sleep in two days? Yes, I, it's so weird. It's like Norm is the only person who can help me get to sleep. Why can't you sleep with Paul? I don't. No, now when he stays over, I have to lie there and pretend so he doesn't think that there's anything wrong. It's, it's, oh, God, it's, it's, it's like the first relationship I've had where I have real orgasms and I have to fake sleep. I missed you last night. Yeah. You didn't come over. Yeah, well, there was an emergency. Oh. Yeah, I, I had a problem with my cat. <laughs> Do you mind? We'd like a bit of privacy. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you wanted to speak in private. <laughs> Laurie, let's not fool ourselves. I know you can't sleep when you're with me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sure it's just temporary. This is a bit off-putting. I, I wish she felt safe enough with me to fall asleep in my arms. Oh, Paul, you know, no man could help me with this. Not you, not Norm. <sighs> Well, I mean, I'm certainly not Norm. Why'd I say that? That's, that's uh, laughable. <laughs> I've been thinking, you know, if we're gonna keep seeing each other, there's something you ought to know. This is uh, not my real hair. It sure looks real. So it's okay with you? 
It's like if you were dating a woman and she lost an eye and went out and got a fake eye, you wouldn't hold that against her, would you? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Don't you go away. I'll just be sitting right here under all my hair. Hey, hey, Danny, listen, man, I need a favor, you know? Uh, you know Becky, you know? Well, uh, her shift's starting soon, and I gotta impress her. See, she thinks I'm this big wimp, you know? So I figured uh, it'd be good when she came in if you and I were having a kind of a bar fight, you know? It'd be easy. I'd just, uh, you know, punch you in the face a couple times, and you run out crying. I mean, Nancy's here. I'm not gonna look like a big wuss in front of my girlfriend. Ah, come on, it'll be easy. You know, as soon as Becky comes in, you just put your fists up like this. Look, put them down. I'm not doing this. Come on, man. You gotta make it look real. Come on. Ow, stop it. That hurt. <laughs> what the hell is that? You look like you're fighting me for a pillowcase at a white sale or something. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah, come on, man. You're just like that. Jeez. Oh. Especially if it's gonna look like that. <laughs> he started it. Hey, I got my hair mussed up in a bar fight. I'm gonna go see what it looks like. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I mean, this is a place of business. You can't go starting fights here. Yeah, I'm serious. Oh, hey, Becky. Oh, hey, sir, can you repeat that last part? I said you can't go starting fights here. Oh, yeah? <laughs> What's going on? Ah, uh, nothing. I just got into a fight, you know. Again. <laughs> With who? With uh, that guy over there. No, I'm sorry. It was that bigger guy over there. <laughs> Norm, you know you're not playing hockey anymore. You've got to learn to control yourself. Now, let's get you out of here and see if we can't find a better use for some of that pent-up energy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Grizzly, cover for me. I'm going to get this guy out of here before he kicks that guy's ass again. Kick my ass? Yeah, yeah, kicking his ass would be easy, you know? It'd be far more humiliating for him if we just walked out, you know, quickly without making eye contact. <laughs> yeah, I spent a couple weeks in prison, you know? Well, not prison per se, but, uh, you know, uh, they put one of those ankle things on me so I couldn't get out of the house, so it was kind of the same. <laughs> Man, that thing really started chafing, too, you know? Because they put it on too tight. Why? Because I mouthed off to him, that's why. You heard me. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Listen, I'm being a bad host. Can I get you a drink or something? Yeah, maybe I'll have something in the morning. Oh, well, really? You come back in the morning? <laughs> oh, 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 I get it right. You're gonna have sex with me. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, Norm, thank God you're here. Lori, Lori, it's like 9 o'clock. Well, I thought you were supposed to be on that date. Yeah, I know I was, and I started talking really crazy. I'm exhausted. I gotta get some sleep, Norm. Please help me. Uh, hi. Uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Lori. I'm really sorry to interrupt you, but I'm gonna have to take Norm back to my place for 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't slept in two days. I'm kind of starting to lose it. My cab over here was driven by a snake. <laughs> Look, I'm uh, really sorry, but we're in the middle of a date here. Can't you talk to Norm later? Uh, yeah, Becky, you see, my friend here has this really weird problem, and I'm the only one that can help her. Mm. Oh, what's the matter with you? Why can't you just throw her out? Uh, can I, uh, speaking as a trained counselor, I am starting to sense very unhealthy patterns here. Becky, <laughs> you like dangerous men who are not good for you, and Norm, you are trying way too hard to reestablish your identity as a macho jerk. I mean, come on, Daddy told me how you tried to... Fake the fight in the bar. So, anyway, <laughs> you fake that fight in the bar? Uh, look, you still want me to throw her out? I'll throw her out. Come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. That won't be necessary. I am going back to work. God, she's rude. <laughs> she's rude? You know what you just did? Good God, man. I had the chance to have sex with her when she was actually in the room. Come on. <laughs> Don't you fall in love with anybody else while I'm gone? <laughs> oh, Missy, 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 Missy. <laughs> so, you guys are still going out, huh? Oh, she's crazy about me. I can't believe what a difference hair makes. It's like a dream come true. <laughs> uh, hey, pal. Well, something I think you ought to know about your date there. She works for a hair company. A guy takes a rug out for a 30-day test spin. She tells him how great he looks. 
Meanwhile, you're out a couple grand and she gets a commission. Are you sure? Do I look like I'm sure? <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe this. I thought you really liked me. You know what you should do? You should get back at her. Make her sleep with you. Yeah, that a teacher. Hey! <laughs> Norm, wait a minute. I told you, I don't want to talk to you. Norm, I feel terrible about what happened, but I'm just crazy from lack of sleep. Look, I'll make it up to you. That's all right, thanks for giving. Norm, I can tell you're still mad. That's why you won't look at me, Norm. Why won't you look at me? No, I remember what you look like. Norm, I can't stand it. <laughs> look at me. Look at me, Norm. Look, look at me, Norm. Norm, look at me. Ah, ah, now what are you going to do, huh? <laughs> huh? What are you going to do now? Huh? <laughs> Becky, just let me explain. Hey, no, don't listen to her, Becky. She's done enough damage already. Becky, you deserve to know the truth. That stuff about him faking the fight, that's not true. And I didn't need him to put me to sleep. I was just trying to make you mad at him so I could have him back. No, Becky, this uh, may or may not be true, depending on where it's going. You know what? Save your breath. You can have him. No, look, I don't want him anymore. I've learned my lesson. It's not worth it. Every night, lying there in bed, wondering when I'm gonna get the phone call from the police telling me he's beating up somebody else. Or is tonight the night he's finally gonna lose all control and kill a man? Don't you tell her about my fiery rage! Yeah, shut up! <laughs> you know the only reason I put up with it is because the sex is amazing! <laughs> I tell you, usually towards the end, I just pass out. <laughs> There's only so much a girl can take. Actually, you might be setting the bar a little high with that one. Yes. Uh, maybe there's a woman out there who can handle him, but he sure isn't me. Wow. Every time I think you're one kind of guy, you turn out to be another. Yeah, well, you'll soon learn that there's two kinds of norms, you know? There's a loving norm and then the leaving norm. Yeah, the leaving norm, sometimes you'll love him. The loving norm, often you leave him. You know, the thing about the leaving norm oh, and the... Uh... what are you talking about? Oh, then there's the rambling, incoherent norm. Don't try to figure out that, he'll burn you. Okay. All right, let's hurry. Becky yeah. gets off at three, and I'm going to meet her back in my All apartment. Right. Well, Norm, I really appreciate you coming over here and doing this. You're saving my life. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Let's go into your bedroom and get you to sleep. No, what? You crazy? Paul's in there. What? Paul's? Yeah. What the... But this is too weird. Look, why can't you just get Paul to put his arm around you and tell you the story? I tried it. It doesn't work. His arm is different or so. I don't know. Like his arm is all, like, masculine and manly or something. <laughs> it's no big deal. Look, you just put me to sleep on the couch, and then you pick me up and carry me in there, lay me on the bed next to my boyfriend. Oh, no. No, I can't carry him in. I can't. I don't even buy those half-gallon bottles of milk. Oh, come on. What do you mean you can't carry me? Just pick me up. All right. God. Oh, for God's sake. I can't carry you. I can't carry you. What are you, Gumby? <laughs> well, now, we got to do it in the bedroom. No, no, what? What are you, nuts? He's had five beers. He's sound asleep. We've got to do it, Norm. He, he thinks that my not being able to sleep next to him means that I don't trust him or something. My whole relationship depends on this. All right, all right. Oh, no, he's not naked under there, is he? He's not naked. God, he's got on bikini briefs. Holy Lord, God! Here, here. Put... God. All right. All right, okay. Okay, uh, once upon a time, uh, there was a king of the ducks, and he, uh, you and I, are you sleeping yet? No, you're not doing it right. It's not even comfortable. You just... You gotta get in the bed with us. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's the only no, way it's no, gonna no, work. No, please, no, please, no, 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 please. No, no, no. please. Oh, right, okay, I will. All right. But I'm gonna keep one foot on the floor. I saw that in a Doris Day movie once. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a, hey, this is a nice bed you got. <sighs> yeah, it's comfortable. What is this, a pillow top or something? <laughs> oh, my God. Look how far I've sunk. Here, I, I find the perfect guy. I'm so neurotic about it. I drag you over here to put me to sleep. Oh, you know what, Laura? Maybe it's not you, you know what I mean? I mean, maybe it's just your body telling you this is not the right guy for you. No. Well, maybe. No. Well, no. Well, I, maybe you're right. I don't know. Maybe I'm forcing something with Paul. You think? 
<laughs> hey, what's up there, buddy? I'm so sorry. It's okay. I suspected things just weren't right for you. When did you know? Well, I knew for sure after Norm got into bed with us. <laughs> Paul, you know, it's not you. I have issues with trust and security. There's no blame here. It just wasn't gonna work. Well, I guess I should go. Ah, geez, the guy's ass in a tiny pair of underpants. <laughs> Yeah, that was nice to see you there. Well, I guess I'm just not the right guy for you. But I hope you find him. You might want to consider the guy who puts you to sleep every night. just this once. <laughs> uh. oh. <laughs> it's been great, Toots. Give this back to your boss. And tell him not to mess with the Brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs>